Live from the Orpheum in Ebor City, I'm your host, Snowman Mother Truckin' Jones. The man with the afro himself is here in Ebor City, Tampa, and we're about to review the show that I just saw. That's right, Shine 4 in Ebor City. Okay, so we're in the Orpheum right now. It's, what is it, October 19th, 2012, ShineWrestling.com, and if Sal, if you're listening, don't delete this episode. We'll say some good things about Shine. Make sure people know to go to WWNLive.com. Buy the iPay-Per-View of Shine Wrestling, and I'll try not to call it Shimmer, which I have done in the past. Okay, so big things going on. Uh, maybe we should run down the matches. Now, let's first, first, before we do that, let's talk about the pregame, everything leading up into this. Now, I have to say, I enjoyed uh, kind of seeing the setup. I was a little awkward. I got in early, um, got to see some of the Shine superstars getting ready, prepping their matches, going through what they were going to do, checking out the ring, checking out the hard spots, the soft spots, <laughs> and that's just the women. But anyway, let's see. We had B Smooth. Oh, the guy used to be B Spidey. B Smooth was in the house, came all the way down from Mississippi, bought himself a VIP pass. I was hoping to see Jimmy Mack here tonight, but unfortunately, Jimmy Mack had to work late. ASW referee Jimmy Mack. Uh, indie wrestlers, there were several of them in the audience. I know Cami Kendrick was supposed to do announcing, but at the last minute, uh, plans changed, so she was in the audience. Uh, check her out at thegreatkendricks.com. Her husband, the great Kennedy Kendrick, was there, Ken Kendrick. Uh, Ken's a tremendous talent. Great to see him in the audience and chat with him a little bit. Lenny Leonard was doing play-by-play -play announcing. Lenny Leonard is used by Sal a lot in a lot of the iPay-per-views that go on in Central Florida, so it was good to see him. Josh Rich, independent referee. He works for Believe Wrestling, I know that, as the commissioner. And he's a board member, was in the house as well. Mercedes Justine, FUW's wrestler, was there Mercedes? She told me that she's nursing a shoulder injury. Should be back to wrestling sometime around January. Of course, Shine Wrestling owner Dante Brown was there as well as Sal, both involved in Shine Wrestling behind the scenes. So that so that was interesting to see. I also enjoyed seeing Daphne, former ECW and WWE, excuse me, WCW Diva, ECW Diva, TNA Diva, Daphne was there. Daphne is a native of the Tampa area, at least she lives here now. And let's see, she was helping out a lot behind the scenes, giving, giving a lot of the women some of the information about here's the hard camera, here's where you need to look when you come out, come out, uh, step out from behind the stage, pause for two or three seconds for a photo, then come out and you know give your promo, that sort of thing. So Daphne was there lending advice to the lady superstars. You have to enjoy seeing someone like Daphne, a real ring veteran, giving advice to some of the younger ladies um, who were there working tonight. So then, let's see, also I saw Chris Hero in Ybor City tonight, and Sin Bowdy, I believe, was working at Las Vegas Tattoos in Ybor City. If you remember, Sin has essentially retired from wrestling, you got to think that Sin, although he was just new to the WWE recently, you know, he broke in about the same time Edge did, and Edge is already retired, and I don't know, he's probably not a Hall of Famer yet, but pretty darn close. So Sin is semi-retired, I think he'll book a match if he gets paid enough, but for the most part doing tattoos in Ebor City. And then what else? Let's see. Uh, Marcus Owens was in the house, and like I said, Chris Hero, who goes by... Um, Cassius Ono, is that right, in, F in NXT FCW? But anyway, Chris Hero was was in Ybor City tonight as well. And, and if folks haven't been down to Ybor City, it's a very fun district. It's the old Cuban Cigar District. It's definitely worth checking out. So when it comes to the matches, first match was, I believe it was Sue Young versus Rhea O'Reilly. Uh, that was Rhea O'Reilly's debut. Uh, Sue Young got the victory there. Brandy Wine defeated Kimberly. I don't know how many times I've seen Kimberly wrestle in person, but I'm still getting used to her as a as a wrestler. I know she's trained in WXW, which is Afa Anawai's promotion. 
She's a, she's a pretty talented lady, and I wouldn't be surprised to see Miss Kimberly in the WWE or TNA someday. So keep an eye out for her, and, and mostly, you know, WWE goes for a look. They want a girl who's just gorgeous, and, and Kimberly, she would fit the bill, frankly. Let's see. Reby Sky, I watched that match, versus uh, Kelly Skater. Um, Kelly was okay, but Reby got the best of her. Hit the twist of fate. You'll have to excuse the Afro Squad dog in the background. Seems to be a warning us. I brought her down to the event tonight. And then we have Rain taking on Christina Von Erie. And, you know, surprisingly, Rain won. Yeah, I was, I was surprised by that. Christa, Christina Von Erie, you know, you remember her from her time in AAA. I first saw her live and in person at All Stars Wrestling of Florida on, on was it West Hillsboro Drive, 11236 West Hillsboro Drive. Uh, Christina Von Erie, actually, she's gotten in really good shape recently. There was a time frame where Christina had put on a little weight. She's looking slim and trim. I wouldn't be surprised to see her in TNA. And frankly, I would love to see her in TNA. Mostly because she brings something different than what all the other knockouts do. She's unique looking. And I don't know if they could team her with Jesse Neal or whatnot. But she's, she's a tremendous talent. I'd love to see more of her. Let's see. What else did we see? Oh. Uh, um... Maiden Sin, that's Allison Sin and, and Taylor Maid. Uh, with April Hunter, defeated Davina Rose and Shazza McKenzie, I believe is her name. Um, again, Maiden Sin doing very well together. I always enjoy seeing April Hunter. April's quite the talented individual. So there's a good match. Next up in the sixth match of the evening, uh, the Latina sensation Mercedes Martinez defeated Santina Garrett, Santana Garrett with a fisherman's Buster? <laughs> well, I gotta say that Mercedes um, Martinez, I have a hard time with that. I always want to say Mer Mercedes Justine because that's another female wrestler in the area. But Mercedes Martinez is a hell of a talent. I believe she's Puerto Rican. She is kind of a badass. You know, she brings a lot of what a Jazz or a Luna brings to the table and just being able to beat the crap out of another woman. So I would love to see a Mercedes... Martinez in the WWE someday or in TNA. I doubt that they would sign her because they're really looking for Playboy models. But Mar Mercedes, um, a great talent and just a badass in the ring. And, you know, Santana Garrett is, is obviously talented, obviously beautiful. I would, I actually would see her signing with TNA in the next two years. I think, I, I think a lot of people could see that happening. I don't think anyone would be surprised if that happened as soon as next week. She's still learning the ropes, if you will. She's getting there with the in-ring skills. She's got the look. She stays in shape. So it's just a matter of time before the folks that believe wrestling uh, at the Team Vision Dojo or whatever get her to the point where TNA takes notice and signs her to a contract. Next up, you got Jessica Havoc defeating Leva Bates. Uh, <laughs> Leva Bates... Um, I, I believe Jessica was dressed as Alice from Resident Evil, and Leva was more Rick Grimes dressed from uh, The Walking Dead, which is one of my favorite shows if you've seen The Walking Dead. Uh, they didn't kill Shane or anything tonight. But anyway, Leva looked good. Um, Jessica Havoc always always looks good in her matches. They, they do a great job in the ring. It's all, always impressive to see those folks. And folks, if you get a chance, check out Shine Wrestling. Every month, whenever they come to town or buy the iPay-Per-View, go to ShineWrestling.com or WWN Live, I believe is the, is the address, WWNLive.com. Check it out. It, it's, a, it's a good show to see. The main event was Soraya Knight defeating Jazz to retain her title in her first defense. And, you know, folks, I just got to say that. You know, I saw Jazz last month. Um, I, talked, I saw her a little bit this month. And Jazz... It's just a beast in the ring. I mean, she's she's probably well into her 30s, we'll say. But she is in great shape. She still kicks ass. Um, you guys know her from her WWE days. She's a tremendous talent. Always great to see Jazz. I'm impressed with her overall ability. So, folks, there are a few pictures up on 911 Wrestling. I didn't take a lot tonight. 
Uh, Jason Wilt was there taking pictures. Find him on, on Facebook. Check out 911wrestling.com. That's our website. That's where to see all the information. We've got a tie-in with Shine, so we'll have exclusive information before anyone else will. We'll have pictures, photos, videos, whatever it is before other folks will. Check out 911 Wrestling, and we'll see you at the matches.